What's up everybody, Ben White here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. The purpose of today's video is to take a trip down memory lane. It's an oldie, but not a goodie. Of course, I'm talking about the Car Arms PM40. When good ideas have bad ideas. Before we get to that though, how about you go ahead and stick your thumb up YouTube's anti-gun love and hole by liking and subscribing, and go ahead and check me out at Twitter X. I would appreciate it a bunch. So what exactly is a PM40? Well, it was manufactured by Car Arms starting in 2004 and then continuing for a few years. The PM stands for Polymer Micro because this is a micro gun chambered in the formidable 40 caliber round featuring a five round magazine and a really bloody long trigger pull. My brother picked this gun up right when concealed carry was starting to gather momentum towards the late 2000s. And so he got a Car Arms PM40 and I got a Sig P238. You could not ask for guns that are in a different spectrum of caliber or potential or looks. Generally, I'm easy to please, but ever since my brother bought this home, I have not liked this gun. So I absconded with it over the holiday and decided to do a review where I could tell my brother without telling him to his face why I think this thing is just terrible. To Taco Bet, you will never meet anyone who is still carrying this gun. Okay, so what makes this gun such a bust? Well, I think it's because it was a good idea that ended up becoming a bad idea. They took the 40 caliber round and put it into a micro carry. Now remember, 40 caliber round was the cool kid on the block back then. Everybody was shooting it. So of course they would take this snappy survivalist form caliber and throw it into a polymer frame micro gun and create one of the most suckiest shooting experiences you can hope to have with a micro carry. This is the kind of gun that leaves the pad of your trigger finger numb after shooting like 20 rounds. It's the kind of gun you hate shooting. You hope to God you never have to use the gun because you just don't want to shoot it. Moving on, it's got this five round magazine. So even if you like shooting it, you run out of bullets just as you're starting to enjoy shooting it. And there's a bigger mag that goes with this. It holds one more round, so a six rounder. Uh, but I didn't have that, I just have this five rounder. And the pinky ledge for this caliber at this size is like wishful thinking. Oh gosh! Surprisingly, I was able to hit everything I was aiming at at 15 and 40 yards respectively about 50% of the time. The trigger is creep-tastic and crisp. Yes, it was both of those words. It was creep-tastic and crisp. I don't know how I feel about that. It gave a satisfying pop when you hit the unintelligible ledge. And I wish it had a red dot instead of these sights. And in a video filled of opinion, the most important opinion is my personal take on the aesthetic of this weapon. And the aesthetic is poor. It's very low. It looks like a minivan from the 1990s. But I would absolutely buy one of these just so that I could have it on hand for a John Level Blue Falcon 3-gun match. What's happening, my friends? Today we're doing Blue Falcon 3-gun. So there you go. I just accidentally stumbled on maybe one of the main reasons why you should buy this gun. It's a gag gun that you use. Accordingly. You're screwing your buddy. So that they shoot poorly on a stage that you've designed for them to shoot poorly with this. My brother is just going to hate this video. Guys, there you have it. That's all I want to say about the Car Arms PM40. I wish I had my ammo back. <laughs> I can't wait to give this back. If you own one of these pieces, and they weren't cheap, by the way. These were expensive back in the day, like really expensive, which is just... Anyways, guys, comment below if you're still carrying your Car Arms PM40. I apologize. You are a man of men. You have, you're like, you're like Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. Basically, every time you shoot this. Here we go. So go ahead, comment below. What are the things that you absolutely agree with me about the terribleness of this? 
And uh, where do you and I part ways on the uh, design and function and uh, aesthetic of this gun? Guys, as always, ride fast, shoot straight, get off the couch and into some tactical fellowship, and we'll see you next time. You know you're not super happy you watched this video, but it does not negate the fact that you did indeed watch the video. And because you did, and you're not sure that what I said is wrong, you should also click that link above to see if that t-shirt that's up there or coffee mug would also be suitable for your collection at home. You shouldn't probably own one of these, but you should probably own one of those.